good morning, my students. Uh, today we are going to talk about Grammar Unit 6. Grammar Unit 6. We have four lessons in Grammar Unit 6. Number one, the future progressive tense. The future progressive tense. What's the form of future progressive tense? I will write a sentence on the board and try to guess the form of future progressive tense. Look at this sentence. I will be playing football tomorrow morning. Here we have the form of future progressive tense. Well, P plus verb ing. So what's the form of future progressive tense? Well, B plus uh, verb ing. This is the first form, of, the form of future progressive tense. Now, if I want to change this sentence into negative, if I want to change this sentence into negative, it will be, I want be playing. So the negative form of future progressive tense will be, want be plus verb ing. Take care of this lesson because it's confusing a little bit. Well, B plus verb ING. Uh, number two, we want to talk about capitalization. Capitalization. What's capitalization? When we write, we must take care of, of our punctuation. Number one, when can we use capital letters in the sentence? Number one, at the beginning of the sentence, Number two, with names, people, names of people, countries, cities, nationalities, rivers, seas, Days of the week, months, and so on. So we have some points we must write. Capital letter when we write them in our writing. Number one, names, the, uh, people names, countries, cities, nationalities, rivers, seas, days of the week, and months, and months. Point number three. Point number three. We want to talk about. We want to talk about the difference between simile and metaphor. Simile and metaphor. We talked. We talked about the difference between simile and metaphor. When we compare between two different things, we use simile or metaphor. We use simile or metaphor. For example, simile, when I use as or like in the sentence. When I use as or like. So, number one, simile, when I use as or like in the sentence. When we use as or like in a sentence. For example, the boy or the soldier is like a tiger. Look at this sentence. The soldier is like a tiger. Here, in this sense, I use like, so it's a simile. It's a simile. Number two, she is a dragon without hair coffee. She's a dragon without hair coffee. 
In this sentence, I don't use as or like. I compare this character, this person. She is very angry without drinking her coffee. So this is a metaphor because I don't use here as or like, as or like. I think it's a very easy lesson. Again, the difference between simile and metaphor. Simile, when I use as or like in a sentence to compare between two different things. Metaphor, I don't use as or like in the sentence. Again, to compare between two different things or more. This num point number three. What's the difference between formal and informal language? Formal and informal language. Number one, formal language when I use it when I talk to someone older than me, when I talk to uh, a teacher, when I talk someone I don't know him or her well, this is a formal language. But informal language, I use it when I, am, I talk with my family and friends, someone younger than me, okay? For example, look at this sentence. Can you help me, please? Can you help me, please? This is what? Formal or informal uh, language? Of course, it's formal language. I am talking to someone I don't know him well. Number two. Let's have fun today. Let's have fun today. This is informal language. I'm talking to my family and friends. This is informal language. So again, the difference between formal and informal language. Formal language, I use it when I am talking to someone I don't know him well. Or I am talking to uh, my teachers or my boss. But informal language, I use it when I am talking to my family and friends. Point number four, point number four. Prepositional phrase, take care of prepositional phrase. In English, we have some prepositions. In English, we have some prepositions. Number one, in, on, at, with, without, of, of, by, under, and so on. We have lots of prepositions in English. What's the meaning of prepositional phrase? Any phrase starts with one of these propositions. For example, I go to school with my friends. I go to school with my friends. Take care of with my friends. This is a propositional phrase because it starts with a proposition. Or another sentence, In your booklet, he went to the market. He went to the market. Where is the prepositional phrase in this sentence? To the market, this is a prepositional phrase because it starts again with a preposition. Another sentence to make uh, this idea clear. I, again in your booklet page 48, I met him in the afternoon or in the morning. In the morning, this is another prepositional phrase because it starts with preposition in. Again, prepositional phrase, any phrase starts with a preposition like in, on, at, with, without, of, of, by, under, 
all these prepositions. For example, number one, I go to school with my friends. With my friends, this is a prepositional phrase because it starts with a preposition with. Number two, he went to the market. To the market, this is a prepositional phrase. It starts with preposition two. I met him in the morning. In the morning, this is another prepositional phrase. It starts with preposition in. To revise grammar in unit six, number one, future progressive tense, future progressive tense. Will be plus verb ing. Will be plus verb ing. Take care of this form. If I want to change a future progressive tense into a negative, we must use want. We must use want be plus verb ing. This number one, according to future progressive tense. Number two, the difference between simile or and metaphor. Simile and metaphor. Simile, when I compare two different things, when I compare two different things, using as or like, I must in simile use as or like. As we said, this boy is like a tiger. This boy is like a tiger. Like a tiger here, this is a simile because I compare two different things, boy and a tiger, using as or like in the middle of the sentence. What about metaphor? Metaphor, when I use or compare, when I compare two different things without using as or like, without using as or like. As we said before, she is a dragon without her coffee. She is very angry without drinking coffee. I compare in this sentence two different things. She and uh, a dragon. She is not a dragon, okay? Number three, what's the meaning of prepositional phrase? Prepositional phrase, any phrase starts with a preposition. Starts with a preposition. What are prepositions? For example, in, on, at, with, without, <coughs> of, of, by, under, by, sometimes I use by, and so on. For example, I go to school with my friends. With my friends, this is a prepositional phrase. He went to the market. To the market, this is another prepositional phrase. It starts with preposition to. I met him in the morning. In the morning, this is another preposition phrase. It starts with in, okay? We have some important exercise in our booklet, page 54. Open your booklets, page 54. Exercise number 13. Exercise number 13. Read the following passage, then answer the following question. What can I do in this uh, exercise? I, m I have a passage or a short, a short paragraph, but it has lots of punctuation mistakes. Punctuation mistakes. I must to correct them. I must to correct them. Number one, we said before, when can we use capitalization or capital letters? Look at this word, Brad. This is at the beginning of the sentence. We said before, if the sentence, uh, we want to use capital letter at the beginning of the sentence, so it will be B capital. Prad likes to fish. He fishes when he, whenever he can. Look at this Monday. Look at this Monday. Of course, this is another sentence. So T will be capital T. Monday, we said before, if I'm talking about days of the week, I must use capital letters. So it will be M capital. It will be fishing as a bit. Look at uh, other uh, mistakes. Again, uh, in this paragraph, we have some mistakes, especially in capitalization. We said Pred, capital P, and this Monday, capital T and M. Look at the second part of this uh, comprehension, Mark. Mark, this is a name of a boy, so it must be M capital. Brad here. 
the capital Australia. So this is a country we said before we use capital letters with countries, so it must be a capital. This according to page 54 in your booklet. Look at your, uh, your booklet page 55. Page 55. Pick out two structures that include a preposition. Pick out two structures that include a preposition. Propositional phrase. For example, for example, here we have lots of sentences include a preposition, prepositional phrase. Number one, look at this. At the lake. At the lake. This is a prepositional phrase because it starts with preposition at. Number two, we have here to the lake. Another prepositional phrase because it starts with preposition to. Number three, uh, we have lots again, for example, for many years. So I have at the lake and to the lake and at the lake here, here again, at the lake with bread. At the lake with bread, this is another propositional phrase. Exercise number three, page 55. Exercise number three, page 55. Look at your booklets, please. Exercise number three, page 55. Underline the metaphor and circle the simile. Underline the metaphor and circle the simile. In this exercise, we have a short paragraph. We have a short paragraph. We want to find out simile and metaphor. We want to find out or extract a simile and a metaphor. Number one, I will write a sentence here. Look at it. The lake is as big as an ocean. Look at this sentence, it's from exercise number three, page 55. The lake is as big as an ocean. This is a simile or a metaphor? This is a simile or a metaphor? Here I used as, as. We said before, when I use as, as or like, I compare two different things using as, as, so, so this is a simile. Number two. You are a pair. You are a pair. You are a pair. This is simile or metaphor? Of course, this is metaphor because I compare a person to another thing without using as or like. So this is a metaphor. So this is a metaphor. So we have finished. Uh, exercise number three, page 55. Look at uh, last question. Extract three structure in the future progressive tense. We want to extract or pick out three structure in the future progressive tense. We said before, what's the form of future progressive tense? Will be plus verb ing. For example, he will be fishing. Look at this sentence. He will be fishing. This is number one. In the first line, this sentence, in the first line, he will be fishing at the lake. At the lake. This sentence in the first line. Okay? Number two. Number two from page 54, in page 54, we want to extract another two future progressive, sent, uh, future progressive sentences. He will be fishing at the lake with bread. They will be camping. They will be camping. 
another sentence. They will be camping this in the main paragraph in page 54. In the main paragraph in page 54, they will be camping. Another sentence, they will be driving. They will be driving. So, he will be fishing as a lake. This is in the first paragraph, uh, page 55, and they will be camping. They will be driving in page 54. So, from this exercise number five, again, what's the form of future progressive tense? It's will be plus verb ing. Will be plus verb ing. Again, what's the difference between simile and metaphor? Simile, when I compare two different things without using, uh, without, uh, with using as or like, sorry, with using as or like. For example, the lake is as big as an ocean, okay? This simile, uh, metaphor, when I compare two different things without using as or like, you are a bear, you are a bear, this is metaphor. Here I compare a character, a person, to a pair without using as or like. Again, capitalization. When I can use capitalization, we have many ways to use capitalization. Number one, at the beginning of the sentence. Number two, with the names of persons, people, uh, uh, countries, cities, rivers, seas, oceans, uh, days of the week, uh, months of the year, okay, and so on. Uh, the difference again between formal and informal language. What's the difference between formal and informal language? Formal language, I use it when I am talking to uh, my boss, for example, uh, my teacher, someone older than me, okay? But informal language, I use it with my family and friends. I use it with my family and friends. Take care in your exam, inshallah. Uh, read the sentence carefully. Read the headline of the question carefully uh, with my best wishes and goodbye.